What's up, y'all? I'm Mariah. I'm Lady. And I'm Kaylin. And we are Glamour. Glamour and, and we're, we're hanging out with Rob, Rob on Front Row Live. Live. Like yeah. And we got it on the first try. <laughs> it's not every day that I can say I'm hanging out with an R&B all-female group. Yeah. And I love that you guys are bringing us back. But <laughs> let me ask you, why do you guys feel uh, the girl group is not as strong anymore as it used to be back in the 90s? Hmm. Good question. Well, <laughs> um, really, it's really hard to say in a girl group consistently. I mean, I feel like a lot of people have tried and tried to try, mm -hmm. but over a course of years, no one's ever stood together strong enough to be able to make make it to some of the calibers where the 90s girl groups did. Right. So that's really the reason, I think, because girls really don't stick together, and it's hard for girls to stick together. I feel like that's the main reasons why we don't see them today, but mm -hmm. we're going to switch that up, you know? Do you, do you feel it's a thing about ego, maybe? I was thinking, like, like a lot of times people form groups to, like, aid their own personal career, like, to launch their own career, so they don't really, like, have the group mentality, you right. know what I'm so saying? It's just a so, temporary yeah, thing to put like, that name yeah. out, and then I got to go. Like. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So then it just doesn't work anymore. Yeah. And also, like, if you're not really into the thing, like people have a hard time relating, and right. so people aren't really looking for girl groups these days yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, but we're and you can't that, <laughs> and, and you can't you can't fake it. You like genuinely have to vibe with the yeah. people that you're with, right. and I feel like that's a big part of it. Just randomly, oh, be a girl group. Let's be a girl group. Right. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's just nine times out of ten. Yeah. So. And I feel like that's why we work, because we really take the time to really get to know each other, mm -hmm. and we make sure that our bond is really tight, and we're genuinely, like, friends yeah. outside of the like group. like family before yeah. Yeah. the yeah. business yeah. side, right? Yeah, exactly like that. Now, the thing that I like about you guys is that, you know, looking at the videos that you guys have on your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. um, for starters, you guys were not all singers. One was an actress, one was a dancer, one was a singer. Yeah. But when you guys look at those videos, like, you guys are all in sync. It's as if, like, you guys... <laughs> you know you guys have all those talents together yeah. how did that really happen for you guys when you guys first started hanging out with each other and saying hey we're glamour honestly just training and practicing yeah. like literally our life is training and artist <laughs> development mm -hmm. and just practicing like we all have different strengths and they mm. balance all of our weaknesses so we know each other's strengths we know each other's weaknesses and that's why it works right. yeah. Yeah. yeah also it's a formula to it I'm not we're not gonna expose someone's weaknesses we're gonna expose this one's strong suit and we're gonna put this one's strong suit right here so it's really really just mastering where we're gonna put who. Mm -hmm. That's really a big part of it. And at AGI, which is where we train and where we got together at, we have to do all three. So as you know, some people came for different reasons. I came to be to be a singer, Kaylin came to be an mm -hmm. actor, she came to be a dancer. Right. Miss Natasha, the owner, she's not gonna let you do one. She's yeah. not. No it's just not gonna promise. happen. She will force you to do all three, right. but we learned to love it. We're like, oh, okay. Yeah. So that's how this really came about. <laughs> Since you guys were placed in that where you had to test everything, did your minds change on what you really wanted to do at the end? Like, if you wanted to be an actress, now you want to be a singer? Like, or are you still 100% you want to be an actress, but you'll do the singing as well? Yeah, my mind <laughs> has definitely changed. Like, I'm more of the on the music side because yeah. I I thought acting was you know my way through the door which we still use it like we were just on you know star on Fox right. so congratulations we, by the way thank, thank you, you. <laughs> so you know we still had to use acting but I'm like really strongly in the music right. so. yeah singing has always been my thing I'm always gonna want to be a singer over everything um Miss Natasha still makes us do all three so it's, it's, it hasn't stopped so we are all always working on everything else and we we dance when we sing so mm -hmm. it's a performance it's a package mm -hmm. yeah. and we just do all three and i really would love to do all three in the future i've you know i've always wanted to do everything when it comes in the music industry as right. far as acting singing dancing producing everything i want to do it all so yeah <laughs> you guys experienced a little tour last year yeah. um what was that like for you guys um especially being on the road for the first time and you know how long was it a couple weeks a month it was, it was a couple weeks month. A couple weeks. It was oh. High School it Nation. Was, it was three weeks. We did two okay. tours. Yeah. We, yeah. It was <clears throat> High School Nation was three weeks. And Juice Tour, it was a course of like yeah, it was like months. you would go in, come back like 
leave three days, come back. And it was like, it was in yeah. like a full on, like, but high school never home tour. But <laughs> the high school nation, we were on there on the road for three weeks. Yeah. And the experience was crazy. We always love to tour. We love just going to different schools mm-hmm. and different cities and experiencing right. new things. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we had a new hotel like every day. Like, we had to pack up every night and go to a new hotel. So just those things were just really fun. And mm-hmm. we just love being on the road. And we were on the road with our brother and sister group, Loud. They're yeah. a pop urban group yeah. yeah we were on the road with them so that was really really fun too as we, well. we had a lot of fun together we always we're always going to at adventures in different mm-hmm. cities we're yeah. like okay what can we do here what's popping here right, so yeah. we always have a whole bunch of fun now you're telling me all these good things about being on tour but i'm sure there was some of the challenges that yeah. you guys faced oh, uh what were some of those challenges school yeah school. <laughs> yeah we're homeschooled so we have to do school online and while we're traveling and on the road and mm-hmm. when i tell you that was the hardest it thing, was the hardest thing you we had so, so many overdue lessons <laughs> so many but we got it together because literally you have to wake up real early do mm-hmm. your makeup do a show travel to the next city by the time you have the next city y'all gotta eat then it's nine o'clock and it's like i'm tired yeah. i'm going to bed yeah. so you get really behind the school work and also you know we're girls we you know uh, it just happens get on each other's nerves yeah. so you just have to know when to <laughs> let it be let this one be let it sit and let it simmer and then come back around let's get it popping you know <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the music um you guys did like a tribute mixtape yeah. for destiny's child which sounded awesome i loved how you guys made it sound like it's your own um but what was that like in the studio for you guys how did you guys create it to be your own uh, it was just well, our creative director, Brendan J, we were in the studio brainstorming. He would hit us up like, guys, I have an idea. <laughs> like, he would send us a song. I mean, like, because we were, like, trying to find tracks to make the song sound different and make put our own twist on the song itself. Right. And we, it was just really fun just vibing out, just mm-hmm. just brainstorming, just. Yeah all these different types of stuff, just creative stuff. Yeah. Creative and, uh, music stuff. A lot of it was random. A lot of it was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, y'all, let's right. put Aaliyah Rock the Boat in there. Yeah. Right. Like, like, super let's random. do it. Let's do it. <laughs> and it just worked. It yeah. was crazy. There's also uh, three original tracks in, in that mixtape. Yeah. Can you guys talk about the tracks? Uh, one of them just got released recently, Bay. Yeah. Can you guys talk about those tracks and, you know, what was the process for those when you guys were making them? I love how you know. <laughs> I know. Like, 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 know he I knows. Know. He knows what's on the slate <laughs> tape. Okay. I love it. So, yes, we had um, three original songs on our slay tape and bay is our first single that we released on itunes wow. and it's really just a song for this season like you know it's getting close to valentine's day you know cuffing season yeah. so we just really wanted a song that'll play i don't know about that in la though because it's kind of hot you know, out there right? but you know right well, and at Georgia though you That's know it's true it's chilly it's kind of break out there so <laughs> but yeah that's what we wanted to release a song for that you know season and we love bay yeah Bae we is love a great song we had a turn up is our song too we just get crunk to that song that's yeah. our turn up song mm-hmm. obviously yeah. <laughs> so and by felicia you can talk about that one by felicia is just i mean it was a fun song <laughs> at first yeah we were just talking yeah, we were just right. about like because girls like girls hate on girls you know and we was just kind of like okay throwing shade to like haters like <laughs> bye felicia <laughs> like <laughs> we don't have time if you ain't beat if you ain't cute if you ain't all that then don't even talk to me you know yes and it's really an anthem for a lot of girls because yeah. a lot of girls deal with yeah. bullying yeah, and bullying. hatred yeah. because girls are just sometimes a little catty yeah. we can be that way I think we all are i don't think it's just girls <laughs> yeah i'll give you that but that's just a song that you turn on you like listen here bye felicia just get in your mirror and just you know be in your bag right. so. <laughs> and there's there's so much positivity coming out of you guys too from from the group and you guys are like kind of focused on it um, but I'm sure, like you just mentioned, like I'm sure that's kind of hard to keep it positive, you know, all the time. How do you guys do that? God. <laughs> I, I, I love that answer. God. I love that answer. But we just have so many supporters and so many people like looking up to us, and we just want to make sure mm-hmm. that what they're looking up to is good. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we just always make sure that we just send out positive vibes. Mm-hmm. We want to be the light in the yeah. darkness of this industry because yeah. the industry is very dark. So we just want to be that light, that positivity, and yeah, God, yeah, that's really what. And, and our team keeps us grounded. Um, yeah, our yeah. our manager Natasha Garcia will snatch our neck. So yeah. you know, we <laughs> have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> <Ouch>. Yeah, <laughs> right. Now you guys are young, and like you mentioned, um, you know, school was one of the hardest things to do while you guys were while you guys are pursuing this, but you know what's it like being in you know in the music business at such a young age like how does that feel for you guys 
It's definitely a sacrifice. Um, we're not in school. We're not in regular school like all the rest of the 16-year-olds <laughs> in the world. Like, we're homeschooled. We're really focusing on our craft. So if we don't go to football games. We don't go to, you know, pep rallies. We don't have all these friends. Like, we have a we small have circle yeah. of friends. Yeah. And even our families, like, they sacrifice so much for us mm -hmm. to do what we love to do. And we just really appreciate that support. We're so grateful to have our families that support us. And yeah. Yeah, are really down for what we do. So, yeah. yeah, and it's go ahead, girl. <laughs> <laughs> also, being in the industry so young, it really like forces you to grow up faster mm -hmm. because, I mean, they're not going to treat you like kids. Like they don't care yeah. that you're 16 or 17. <laughs> like no. So yeah, it's time just, is money. So. Yeah, time mm -hmm. is money. It's like it's the same thing for a five year old to a 30 year old. We don't care. So yeah, it just forces us to like really mature and just learn about the business and just all this different type of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you guys have like stuff in mind for the future, like fashion line or like acting or stuff like that. Are you guys already looking into that while you guys are in this industry? Like, are you guys paying attention to people that, you know, run fashion lines and, you know, run different, like, I don't know, writing music or mm -hmm. whatnot? Are you guys already looking at that? Well, yeah, we're definitely looking at it. We're going to get more involved with that with that stuff in 2017. That's mm -hmm. one of the things we want to do, expand yeah. ourselves. Because mm -hmm. we're focusing on, mus on our music right now, but... There's so much more to mm -hmm. glamour than just music. Yeah, right. It's a movement. Yeah. So we're gonna, it, you're gonna expand and we're gonna reach. Especially so. with things picking up these days, like yeah. it's really the opportunity to really just expand glamour's name. Like yeah. just, just opening multiple doors. We're not just music. We can do this, 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 and that. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. Any plans for an EP, an album? Like what are you guys working on music-wise? Well, we are brainstorming for original music. We were yeah. just talking at dinner last night. Like, what do we want to talk about? Yeah. So we're really definitely going to be in the studio brainstorming, coming up with new original music. But yeah. we did just release some music. So, you know, we just put that out. So we released a lot of music. How many? That's 13 songs that we yeah. put out. Yeah, I think yeah. we're going to be good for a minute. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we're definitely, we're always in the studio, always working, right, always yeah, getting right. better. So, yeah. 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 Let's talk about this deal that you guys got um, with Candy. Yeah. How did that how did that really come about for you guys? Is it an internet thing where she caught you online and instantly wanted to sign you guys? Like how did that work? Um, it worked through our creative director, Brandon J. He's actually signed to her as a writer. Okay. And he worked with her before. So he kinda just like, you know, hey, check out phone. check out my girls, you know? <laughs> and she really like got to watch us grow and mm -hmm. grow into our sound and into our looks and into everything. So she just was really invested and she yeah, so it wasn't instantly. It was a, it was a, it was a gradual. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gross. But everything good, you know, happens with time and yeah. patience, right? Exactly, exactly. Yes. <laughs> now, any other plans for touring um, now that you guys experienced last year? Oh, we did. Possible. possible. Uh, 2017 uh, is possible. We <laughs> heard possible. through the grapevine that, you know, some things may be popping up. So <laughs> <laughs> stay on the lookout. Stay on the lookout. Yeah. So, so we're going to work on this Destiny's Child reunion tour. You guys are going to be opening up, right? Oh, it, oh it, I, I received it. I received that. That ain't nothing but a thing. Amen. Hey. <laughs> so for the fans that have not heard of you guys yet, why should they go ahead and check you guys out? Well, there's only one glamour. <laughs> <laughs> That. that and we're just I mean not to like you know to our own horns but like we're dope and we're genuine and we love what we do and we love our supporters and we're really doing this for a reason and we just want people to join the movement and we just want to change the world and yeah. we just and like it's we want you guys to be passionate with us yes, like we're so passionate we're like so passionate and this like people we yeah, no. Like, <laughs> when we're, like, we're really in this till the end, and we we'll, won't disappoint you guys. So. Yeah. Get on board now. Get on board now yeah. before it's too late. Bad and wagoners. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>